how to do your self-employed business taxes, how to set up your self-employed business in TurboTax. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up your self-employed business taxes in TurboTax. Amanda here from The Business Finance Coach, where I'm helping self-employed business owners fall in love with their finances and grow their businesses. If you're ready to grow your self-employed work and you want clarity around your finances, be sure to click the watermark in the bottom right-hand corner to subscribe to my channel. Now into TurboTax we go for setting up your self-employed business in TurboTax. I'm in the Mac version for TurboTax Home and Business. Now, Home and Business is their desktop edition. Their self-employed is the online edition. Now, this is a Mac. There is no difference between the Mac and PC software other than how it looks, but you have the same options. Um, of course, with with a Mac, I have these options up here, whereas you actually have them in the software on a PC, but it's the same thing, everything's the same. So the first step is to click this business tab and then click continue. Now you can use all of this software through a walk me through everything. And the software will ask you questions. It's called the interview format. Um, but I prefer to choose what I work on and then go through everything. But if you're a bit nervous about taxes, doing the walkthrough or everything is probably the best way to go. You may be answering no to a lot of questions, but you kind of have to do that anyways, so it may or may not save you time. Right here, business income and expenses, click update. Do you have any income and expenses for your business? Remember, this applies if you just started a business and people paid you for work you do. Whenever you are paid for work you do, you have to file a self-employed business if you're not paid as an employee. But you also may have a single member LLC and that's why a single member LLC is what I recommend doing for your business because you get this, the limited liability for legality purposes and you can treat your business like an actual separate business. You have to for the LLC to exist. But when it comes to taxes, things are much easier for you. Now, if you do have a multi-member LLC or another type of business, be sure to check out my other videos for multi-member LLC partnership S Corp, where I go through other tax softwares, including TurboTax, their business edition, which is for separate entity returns. When you're self-employed, your self-employed income and expenses are recorded on a Schedule C with your personal return. So this keeps things simple. You cannot file your business separate from your personal taxes. So yes. So they wanna know about the name. If you file a DBA, with your state, you should enter your business has a different name. If you're an LLC, like I am, your business has a different name. You can leave your home address, which is already on your return, a business description. I'm a business coach. Continue. Now they want to know if you started this business in 2017 or you stopped the business in 2017. Even if you just gave up the business, you would check I sold or disposed of. And you see you can pick I disposed of it in these ways. Okay, so I'm going to leave this unchecked because it doesn't apply. Now one thing with TurboTax. Um, <laughs> see, we can't uncheck this now. Okay, I think it's unchecked. You wanna be careful with TurboTax because if you check off something or enter something, you have to be sure to get it out of there if you change your mind on the question beforehand. Otherwise, uh, it can get stuck. Do you have an EIN? You only need to enter that if you're paying other people. Like, I mean, if you have one, you have to enter it here, but you don't have to get one unless you're an employer as a single member LLC. A lot of lawyers will kind of like tack it on. Yes, I'm well aware. Now this is a business lookup code. So you can search whatever your business does and choose whatever bo most matches your business. Otherwise you can just put 999, the miscellaneous code. 
Now, cash versus accrual basis. You will basically know if you use accrual. Cash means you record income when you receive it. So in other words, if someone pays you for a package that you're delivering a service for over a period of time, you're not recognizing income over that time. Most self-employed people are cash basis. It's a lot more work to be accrual. I have a separate video that explains cash basis versus accrual. You can search for that on my site. This is this question about 1099s again. They kind of asked about that twice. Now again, these are uncommon situations, probably don't apply. And that's it. Here you have it. We've completed all of those questions. We're in this business profile section. And this page is a summary page. So that completes setting up your business. Now in my other videos in this series, you'll be able to do these different individual sections. I'm gonna click continue and you can see what happens. See how this business is here? You can add another one. So if you do different types of work for yourself, you could have more than one business or if you and a spouse have different work. So now just to show you, we can go out, I'll choose what I work on and we can go back in and go back into this summary page and this is where we'll add our income and expenses. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video where we'll be going through income and then expenses, then assets and depreciation and other issues. All right, see you next time.